Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton for ID People. I'm here at Wise Media's sixth EMEA event in Abu Dhabi and I'm joined by John Andrews. John Andrews is chair of the UK Trade Association, IMRG, right. and also CEO of Intelligent Commerce Extra, uh, which is a global e-business architect. architect. Yeah, so um, let's talk architecture. Let's talk big picture to begin with. Um, the internet and living our lives vicariously through the internet <laughs> seems to be seems to be the way everything is going at the moment yeah. with social media and yeah. everything else. How does how, how does that impact on commerce and does it make your job as an architect of those systems way more complicated than it ever has been before? What we're really seeing I think is an evolution of society to a migration to doing things online, mm. whether that be education, entertainment, information communication, networking, and we're seeing retailing and the sale of goods uh, increasingly migrating to an online environment, e-commerce as mm. it's known, but very much on a global basis, mm. uh, so that it's uh, being moved along by this almost a tsunami, mm. if you like, of people doing things online, mm. and this is where we're seeing retailers, uh, particularly in the UK and now on a global basis, having to react to this consumer trend. So we're actually seeing it's the, the, cons the technology enabled consumer that's driving this sort of remorse, this migration. And at the same time, that this is becoming a global phenomenon right. as society can communicate globally, okay. instantly via the internet, across borders and across uh, political boundaries, etc. Mm. And that's where we're seeing a lot of global growth and opportunities opening up now to, to service the global consumer. Yeah, and Sophie made a very interesting point this morning, talking about 2012, which a lot of us in the West saw as a, a bad year economically, but the fact that it was the year of the lowest ever number of people in poverty, disease, all those kind of things. So a kind of a, a raising of standards and, and a fast growth in developing countries, countries that are, that are really utilizing uh, e-commerce. Do we, do we end up with a kind of a haves and have nots in terms of in terms of technology? Are there are there countries that will benefit more from this kind of e-commerce revolution or evolution? Evolution, others? probably yes. Um, I think there's a there's clearly a fear of that, mm. um, but to a certain degree, salvation is probably coming in the areas of the penetration of the use of the mobile phone yeah. or the smartphone, which is relatively low cost. Mm. Um, and is probably the, the, the vehicle that will be used for this communication yeah. in the less developed nations, yeah. know, particularly in Africa, as yeah. we've already seen, and, some of yeah. them, and don't have the technical infrastructure for that. Yeah. And combining them with that, we're beginning to see the, the growth more to many products and services just being provided completely online, right. digitally. Yeah. So, yeah. so it's not always involving a physical yeah. uh, purchase Element. or product. It's yeah. a service that's delivered. People get their their movies online. They yeah. get their photographs online. Um, computer software is is online. Yeah. So you're yeah. already seeing that trend happening with the digitization of products or services, right. which can be delivered by a multiple of uh, variety of devices. Yeah. Whether it's uh, a computer, whether it's a tablet, uh, mm. an iPad or increasingly whether it's a smartphone. Okay, and in terms of the architecture of the systems, which is the area I guess you're most involved in, when you're building those systems, there are a whole lot of different dynamics at play. What are right. the key ones? Obviously, government inter-jurisdiction inter is, is a big issue. Yes, it is. Uh, what we're actually seeing is uh, a recognition, I think, now of governments that because society is becoming technology enabled and, and, and can provide these, these uh, is demanding if you like these services or if they can't they can get them from other countries mm. very easily because yeah. it really matters not where the server is um, and I think uh, political uh, governments are finding having to say how are we going to deal with this cross border mm. we, whose legislation prevails yeah. what about the trust mm. uh, and that but the fact that the consumer can trade anywhere yeah. in the world yeah. uh, and probably not even in many cases conscious no. where that where server where, where um, and in some cases probably not that bothered no uh, but there are areas uh, big areas which you know, uh, data protection mm. uh, privacy uh, trust 
Yeah. Uh, what happens if something yeah. goes wrong? This is where we're seeing where there's disruption happening out in the yeah. postal industry. You know, who uh, the postal authorities are now seeing their, their mail volumes collapse because people don't post yeah. letters. But equally, they're seeing an opportunity for um, greater movement of packets and mm. parcels. Um, and uh, that, that's something I was talking last couple of months ago in Qatar. Uh, to the Universal Postal Union, which represents mm, 194 yeah. postal authorities worldwide. And they're recognizing this disruption that's coming mm. on because of the digital world, mm. because of the digital consumer. Um, and clearly, you know, un 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 unless uh, countries and uh, structures such as the European Commission and Europe recognize the, 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 this really quite disruptive change that's mm. taking place, um, the economists will, will suffer unless people are an organization yeah. there's a structure to be able to trade yeah. internationally and seamlessly yeah yeah the post know, office so people talk about cross-border yeah. we almost talk now about borderless yeah subtle yeah. difference yeah but it's, a big difference but a big difference well a big difference in terms of legislation but a big difference in terms of taxation as well which yes. which again is fueling the political debate particularly in the uk at the moment as absolutely to, you know cross yes. jurisdiction taxation um you mentioned the post offices. The post offices have got an interesting potential role here as a, a kind of uh, authority of trust, a point of yes, trust. Yes, indeed. And, Most and people trust the post yeah, office. Yeah, and we, as consumers now, we have to try and figure out who we should and shouldn't trust. And that's becoming, in my opinion, a little bit more challenging because we're offered more by through this online yes. portal where we actually can't see what's behind it. Right. Do you see that as a, a really strong role for? post offices, many of which I guess were national organizations previously. Potentially, anyway. I think there's a major opportunity there and mm -hmm. they, there's already been an announcement of an email or a domain name address called dot .post okay. uh, yeah. to be used as an international domain mm -hmm. and there's thoughts whether that could be uh, migrated onto a sort of trust scheme. I mean, there are, uh, in, in many countries around the world, there are, there are trust schemes which people can mm. put on their website and say they've been accredited in trust, but they're not really global. Mm. Uh, and what seems to be happening in many areas, it's the bigger brands. And they're saying, well, we're a trusted brand. We're mm. Amazon. Mm. We're trusted. Amazon are just launched or trialing their own Amazon coin. As right. a payment system, just okay. being trialed and announced. So you're seeing the big brands say, yeah. "Well, we're a known brand. You can trust us. Yeah. We won't alienate our customers." So where the big brands are involved, yeah. but that's that's a difficulty if you're an yeah. SME. Yeah, you know, you haven't got that. You've got an inherent trust in payment systems yeah. like Visa and yeah. Mastercard Absolutely. and PayPal. Yeah. Um, so that so helps it, but but yeah. it is a concern. Particularly, yeah. it, it's all right until something goes wrong. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. And then it's um, it's where do you find I these people? I want to return the goods. Where's the I contact the details? Goods. Or, yeah. 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 And then it becomes a big challenge. Yes. So Exciting it, it, times it ahead, clearly, John. Yes. Look forward to your presentation this afternoon. Thanks for stopping by to chat, and I hope we could speak again soon. Indeed. Thank you. Thank you.